What is up, everybody? Welcome to Super Bowl week and the FanDuel Hurry Up. Uh, I'm Brandon Gadula, managing editor at numberfire.com, here to break down my three favorite value plays for the single game slate on FanDuel for Super Bowl 56. Got a lot of studs we want to target, uh, so we need some values to help round out those rosters. My favorite value for this week is going to be Tyler Boyd at a salary of 8,500. Yes, there's a lot of reasons I like uh, the primary pass catchers with uh, Jamar Chase and T. Higgins for Cincinnati, but Boyd's available at a much lower salary, and yes, he has a much lower projectable ceiling, but that's that's all right because it's a really good matchup for Boyd in the slot. Uh, he's going to play out of the slot as usual on Sunday, uh, but there's a high probability, basically guarantee that Jalen Ramsey's not going to play out of the slot. He's going to lock up with Jamar Chase and T. Higgins on the outside. He's lobbying to shadow Chase. I don't know if that'll happen, but the point being, uh, it's a it's a good situation for Boyd if Ramsey is playing on the outside because. According to Pro Football Focus, Jalen Ramsey has played the most coverage snaps from the slot out of all Rams defenders, and he's allowed only 0.84 yards per coverage snap. The other Rams are at a 1.11, with the NFL average being a 1.19. So basically, he's getting a league average matchup and not a tough matchup in the slot. CG Uzama is not going to be 100%. That should open up more work in the middle of the field for Boyd, who has run fittingly 83% of the available routes for the Bengals in the playoffs. My second value is a little bit of a risk, but I still think there's a path for Sonny Michelle to have a strong game on Sunday. Daryl Henderson's returning. Cam Akers is still likely to play on Sunday, and we're looking at what should be a, quote, hot hand approach, according to head coach Sean McVay, which is never what you want to hear uh, for a DFS running back. However, in the NFC Championship game, Sonny Michelle carved out a really sizable role uh, for the Rams offense, making him what I would call a risky differentiation option. For the Super Bowl, uh, Michelle had three or four red zone rushes, a 53% route rate against the 49ers. And so if we're looking at an opportunity to prove you have the hot hand, the opportunity first should belong to Michelle, who was in on high leverage snaps in the NFC Championship. He should be more likely to have red zone work, uh, receiving work than Akers. I don't know what uh, Daryl Henderson's workload is going to look like coming back from his injury. So, you know, plan on mix uh, having mixing in uh, from Henderson from... Cam Akers, but I, I really think that the best option uh, out of the three running backs is going to be Michelle, and he's also the lowest salaried out of the three uh, for Sunday. My third value is going to be Van Jefferson. I I sort of get why Jefferson's salary is only seven thousand, but I also don't. I think it's a little bit too low. Uh, Jefferson has the same route rate in the playoffs as Odell Beckham. Now he has generated just a nine point four percent target share, which is only three targets per game, but it still comes with 1.3 downfield targets per game. Downfield as in the sense of 20-plus uh, air yards uh, in the playoffs. The 19.4-yard A dot leading to uh, 58 air yards per game. That's not bad for the salary at all. And last game, Van actually had more air yards with 118 than Cooper Cup with 112 on five targets compared to Cup's 14. Now, is that to say that Van had the better role? No, not at all. But there's a lot of leverage on his targets. He's out there running routes. Tyler Higby's not going to be 100% if he even plays. And... Like the phrase, it only takes one is really overstated on main slate. You need more than just one, but on a single game setup, it's a lot truer. So I think that Van Jefferson is an elite boom or bust option uh, for the Super Bowl on Sunday. That'll do it for my favorite NFL value picks for Super Bowl 56. Uh, best of luck this weekend. 